Alright, and welcome back to Minecraft Amplified. We are in the 10th installment of this series, and I restarted Minecraft because in the last episode, the game just crapped out on me. It said, you know what? Screw you, man. We're not gonna load any more chunks, and there's not a darn thing you can do about it. Well, guess what, game? There is a thing I can do about it. I just restarted, and everything has seemed to be generating normally again. Man, that stuff irritates me. So... It also gave us a chance for the sun to come up and shine nice and brightly so that I'm not in danger of encountering any more creatures. And our goal in this video is to get back into the nether because, well, of course, I lost all my things in there as I was attempting to fight blazes. Now, <clears throat> the real reason I need the blaze rods is not just for the brewing stand, but also because... If I'm not mistaken, you're supposed to combine them with the ender or the uh, ender pearls to make the eyes of ender to find the end. Because that's another thing I want to do. I want to see how the end is affected by the amplified uh, map. So we'll see what happens. And I've lost my sprinting ability because I don't have enough chicken bones left over. I can see the village right through this glitchiness. This is so glitchy, Notch. All that stuff you've done to this game that's made it so awesome, and you still you've made it. It's worse. The glitchiness is worse, and that lighting bug is still there, but whatever. You guys apparently like to hear me rage, so I'm doing more of that. But it's justified, man. This is ridiculous half the time. And it wasn't any better when I had a... Oh, it wasn't any better when I had a solid internet connection. When I had a really high bandwidth. You know, I, if I'm lucky off a good server, I can get 150 kbps. Like League of Legends, that's what I get. And ever since they did the update, by the way, I've had a terribly awful ping. Just bad, man. But, whatever. Uh, so, I, I know that that might have something to do with that, but even when I had a really good connection and I was downloading at several hundred K per second, even into a thousand kbps, it was still, it wasn't, it wasn't great. The loading of the chunks, I mean. This game was not running right. And if, because it's DRM, it's got to be stupid. However, I did plan ahead earlier. And as a result, I remembered to uh, save some health food here in the old drawer, the, the old junk drawer, so that I could eat it because coming back here was, was quite a chore. I a little, it is a little disconcerting, though, uh, that I don't have any wool because I should really make a bed. If I die again and go back, it's going to be another whole rigmarole issue problem kind of thing but there's no sheep around here what are you supposed to do right who knows so what I'm gonna do is uh, take this cobbly stone I thought I saved some wood in here but I guess I did not so I'm just gonna beat up the side of this house <laughs> why not right everything else is half destroyed by all the creeper damage gonna go in oh wait did I collect this gold no I didn't I didn't I can turn oh I oh oh I'm so backwards I was gonna make golden apples out of those apples I had I only have one I could have had five but I didn't think fast enough oh well so the idea here is to just make a pickaxe for temporary uh, picking of the axe so that I can eat because I'm like I said I was only a hundred blocks from that that uh, fortress in the nether so it shouldn't be too hard to get back there and I built the bridges and everything I needed to get there but I did build that one uh, noob tube so let's see what we're doing here okay so it's it's this way I should have known look at this I was literally right here when I from my I can still see the gate and the nether fortress is right over here Unbelievable. This is literally where it is, right over here. I think. Or it should be. Maybe on the other side of that. Who knows. But I remember, now the timer's running. I only have 300 seconds to get over there, so I gotta hurry. This is another epic moment. I don't know if I'm gonna put the, the unbelievably epic music on, but... Definitely, uh, definitely gotta do something. Okay, so right now I'm X1, negative 115. That's supposedly right where this nether fortress is. So maybe if I dig through here a little bit, I'll, I'll run into something. 
I have to be careful though, because this is only a stone pick. And, uh. Oh, wait, what was the Z? Oh, that's. Darn it. Well, I just screwed up. See, it's Z, uh. Z like 10, so it's that. that I'm at the right X value, but not the right Z value. <laughs> I'm just screwing up epically all the time. Z, it was like Z10. And X120. Pretty, pretty sure was the way it was going down. Alright, so I gotta get down there. And I don't have any health food either, so this is going to hurt! Ah! Hmm. Hmm! Oh yeah. This is the way I want to dig through, right over here. I hope. Plus it'll give me building materials when I gotta find my way back out. You know how I do. You know how I be. So this should go right through. Since I'm on 64, I'll run right into the lava lake. We're hoping anyway. That's that's the plan, you know. So right now I'm at Y101. Oh, this more nether quartz buried deep in the annals of this container. Uh, who knows? I know I'll run into it eventually because that lava lake was huge. There's no way you could miss it. I'm just wondering if I'll get there before this pick runs out. I hear some whining of nether nethers in the distance. Oh man. Oh, is this not gonna work out? Am I gonna have to do it the hard way? Oh well I said I wanted to I said I wanted to collect nether rack, right? <laughs> oh I can't even do sprinting because I'll lose too many chicken bones. This is not fair, man. Not fair to toll. If I lose my stuff because I couldn't get there fast enough. I am going to be so pissed off. <laughs> this will be a huge, epic, and unnecessary failure. Now, the only reason I won't do anything about it is because it was my fault. Oh, jeez! Oh! And now there's a now there's a ghast after me. Great. Well, as long as I kind of... No, oh, he's going to kill me. <laughs> I'm going to have to just bite the bullet on this one. Try to get up here. Yep, I'm gonna have to just jump around. And continue to go, oh, my goodness! That could have been bad. Keep oh direct hit! No! It's oh, this is bad. Okay, well I'm oh this is good. Good, 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 good. Because I'm gonna get this wood right here. I can't believe this man. You know, I've been playing Minecraft all these years, and I'm still failing epically. Oh, I bet you're so entertained by this. <laughs> Look at what happened to Sewer when he went into the nether. Of course, like I said, it's probably my fault, because I went in there guns blazing. I didn't even, uh, you know, prepare. I just said, I'm just going to go in. Oh, of course, the sun is setting as well. Ah, uh, you know what? I shall not let this stand. I am a warrior. I am not afraid. And I left a conveniently placed workbench right here. So we're going to make the boat and a few sticks. Because I am going to put this here. And I'm going to chip away at the la at the landscape here a little bit. Gee, I should just set up base here, right? I keep respawning here because I couldn't find any sheep. To make wool, I don't even have enough string to make the wool to do that. It's like 12 string to make a bed. What am I doing? I want this one. There we go. I need protection. I need a contraceptive to get over there so that I don't get killed again. That last time was nonsense, man. It was hogwash. It was ridiculous. It was stupid. It was complaint worthy. And skeletons gang up on you, man. They're like a street gang. But it's like everywhere is their territory. Nowhere is safe. I'm gonna hit land, aren't I? Oh, you better, you better load game. I don't even want to hear that crap. If it didn't load again, I'd be like, you know what? I think I'm done for the day and probably all of next week. I just don't have it in me anymore to, re to do that. Here we go. This is what I wanted to do. And epic wall. And while I'm here, I'll collect this. Reeds. Sugar cane. Whatever. Aha, uh -huh, see? Now I can... I don't have to run from the mobs. I can destroy them and collect mob items on the way back to home base. Yay! 
But since the map doesn't load properly, it's kind of hard to see the threats before it's too late. That's, that's just the way it goes, I guess. See, that skeleton over there is going to fire on me. Aha, he missed. That time. Ah! Oh, that time he didn't. Every time I get a little shot, I get a little tingly whenever I get hit with one of those arrows. Because I don't see how they could be so accurate. I really don't. And I, I, I program games and I can't see how it's possible. But whatever. A little digression goes a long way. We're going to go this way, by the way. Because I can totally come down here and kill this Skellington. They have a, a harder time shooting you from, from below. There we go. Come on, Skellington! What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, you dropped your bow, you big dummy. Oh, man, that looks so painful. My guy is arrow sticking right out of his head sockets. Oh, hey, more reeds. Okay, so this was actually a very bad idea. Because there's spider and skeleton over there, and I have to approach them from within the water. So unless I just kind of gracefully go by... Ugh, oh, that's not going to work. I'm a sitting duck, man. I'm a sitting frigging duck. Oh, there's a creeper. Okay, so now... We, oh, stop it! Stop it! Knock it off, man! Leave me alone! I can't believe this nonsense. However, I can regenerate my hearts, because I got some zombie fresh. Even though it's not the best way to do it, it is somewhat effective. It's like I'm normal versus normal type here. That spider doesn't want to quit, man. I should take him out. I just I wanted to get, regain some of my hearts first. Whoa, he tried to come up from underneath. Okay, did he drop anything? Guess not. And if he did, I would never know. Because I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, you know, spaced out at this point. Pretty frustrated. <laughs> I gotta understand why I can't get back into the nether. It, it shouldn't be that complicated. It shouldn't be that hard. I really need to make that bed, though, man. This is, this is becoming quite the task. But isn't this why you come here? Because you know when you join up in my series, you're going to see some epic times. It never fails, and that's one of the reasons I started doing those those Greatest Moments videos. Because I realized the value that they have. It, you know, I might have gotten more animated and more humorous over the years, and tried to do more fun stuff, but to smash all the fun parts together into one giant collection of, of, of funness, just, you know, it, it, it's, it makes sense. Oh, you son of a... There, I don't know, is that a hard mode thing that they explode like that, even if you're outside the normal range? Because there is so much creeper damage in this village, it's not even funny. I'm still laughing, but it's not funny. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm going to have to make more armor now, so I stand a fighting chance. And that's, and, and that's another thing, my armor wasn't in the best of shape. So I guess this is a wise idea to just make more and cut my losses there. But that was that was dumb. I guess I since I bought, got this door from the other house, I can put it here to keep the OSHA safety standards up to you know a positive glow. My oh why would I have metal pants? Put in there we go. That's a good boy. Okay, the iron, you're done. Although it's probably a wise idea to go ahead and make some more of them tools I was talking about and get rid of this right I'll get rid of this the easy way bye bye put away these reeds cuz you can't ever have enough of those man you know it all right uh, running on like fumes here <laughs> but I'll convert this bone meal before I go I'm not cutting this video until I get my stuff back. <laughs> this is too intense. It's too much. All right. All right. Let me regen my hearts and get back in there. Go back and fight the good fight, Sorvius. Well, that was interesting. Oh, they, I guess they never did fix that. When you're right-clicking on a door, they did it when the furnace is. Remember how you used to right-click a furnace and you'd accidentally eat what was in your hand or fire an arrow instead of selecting it? Well, they fixed it, but I guess they didn't fix the doors. The doors are still persnickety, to say the least. 
Okay, so screw that way. There's that stupid ghast. I'm not even gonna even give him the time of day. I would like to play some baseball, but I doubt it would work. Boink! Come on. Because he there's too far. He, he's always moving. He won't fly back into it, no matter what I do. So I'm just gonna, you know, get out of the way. Woo, there it goes. I'm just gonna go straight back to where I was, get my crap, and then then we'll be set. Because it wasn't all that far away, but still, it's the principles that are being violated, yeah. And it makes for a good video. But like I said, this is important, so I'm not, I'm not gonna give in that easily. I'm not gonna cut this off until I get my things back. It's only fair. Oh, crap. Well, if I can even get there in one piece. Okay, so where was I? Alright. There's a lot of glow still. That's another thing. I collected a lot of resources, and I had a lot of important resources on me. That glowstone has got to be collected. That's a huge deposit. That one, too. Oh, my goodness! Oh, I really got to watch where I'm going. I'm going to kill myself before I even get there again. This is where I fought the epic battle against the, the G-Hast. Uh, but, but wait. If that's the case... Then didn't I, didn't I go over here? Yes, I did. Gotta eat more carrots. I mean, it must be because of the heat. I think the uh, saturation of the health is a little higher in the nether, or a little lower when you do sprinting. I guess they're trying to say that you sweat while you run due to the the excess heat, and as a result, there should be more health loss, more food loss. And I, I think that that's you know, while it's a, a, a solid attempt at realism, in Minecraft, that that even is such a thing. That, uh, to just, you know, bite the bullet and do it this way. Which is what I'm kind of doing now, because... Yeah, there's... Where's... Wait. Where's the path that I had? Was I really that far away? I don't know. Well, like I said, I've got to get back there and get my things back. Oh, that's right, I went this direction. It kind of loops around. It's kind of like an L shape, the, the fortress. But it's all up in the, inside the ceiling. There's like no real way to, to get in there. So I built these bridges. I'm gonna need to make more, tear down my noob tube and start again. Cause as soon as I get in there, I'll be right where I was. And I'll be, I hope oh, my things better be there, man. That's all I'm saying. They better be there, Wee! Ooh, I don't care. I don't care. I'm going for it. Oh, what the, <laughs> of course I would dig one block and fall into a pit, man. Of course I would! I just gotta dig up like 10 or 15 blocks so I can get back up to there! Okay. Let's try this again! Smitty, we're bringing Ben Jensen. You guys been watching that on Markiplier? He keeps using the SpongeBob reference. Smitty, we're bringing Ben Jensen! You were not number one! <laughs> That's actually one of the, the more controversial episodes of SpongeBob because, uh, spoiler alert, SpongeBob and Patrick uh, try to give the health inspector. Uh, well, the, the TV says that the health inspector is there's imposters going around, so they give him the gnarliest patty ever made and they dunk it in the toilet and do all this stuff. But then they think they killed him, so they try to bury the body and the cops get involved, and it's just. it's hilarious. You'd enjoy it. Alright, why. Okay, this. oh, this. I see what happened. So I really need to, like. Put this there so that the blazes can't get. Oh, wow! That one made me jump a little bit. Wow, that was that was that was genuine. I was genuinely scared of that. But why? Oh, why? Why isn't that wall there? Or oh, or is that a different one? I don't remember. I got this way, and I got that way. But what? What happened to my blockade? Is this it? Or isn't it? Now this is the way I... Something is amiss. Something's wrong here. I mean, I don't think I got... I'm gonna get my stuff back. So, uh... Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Wasn't there something up here? Or did I already... Wait, what, wait, what, what is all this now? Where am I? Wait, no, this is not right. This is not right. <laughs> this is not uh, nether like 
the other game where thing or uh, vanish where things just change randomly. Okay, this is where I came in. I know, or where I went down because I I marked it, and this is the walls that I made to demark the. Ah, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, my things are gone. So I lost the diamond pick and the diamond sword that I had. Which is a terrible loss. So, and the blaze rods. I have no blaze rods now. I can't do it. Man. I still have my enchanting table, which isn't so bad, but... That's just... That's one of the biggest things in this game that I just find so disheartening, is that your stuff just gets... Get, you know, there's, there's no chance. You're never gonna get it back. That's such a shame, too, because I... <laughs> I don't know, man. They really gotta, like, take that away and just put a bite in there so that all your stuff is, uh, denoted to you. Or a backpack! I keep suggesting that Notch doesn't make it to save your items. I can't carry an ender chest around with me. That would just be stupid. So you know what? Screw you, man! I'm out of here. I lost 30, t 30 experience, too. Unbelievable. <laughs> So I said I wasn't going to stop the video unless I got my stuff back, but I didn't get my stuff back, and I'm pretty pissed off, so I'm probably not going to record anymore today, because Notch, holy crap! 